Oh my god, hey market! Get it? Because it's the, it's the theatre royal hay market, it's, it's where we are. Welcome back to my stated YouTube channel. If you are seeing my face for the first time, my name is Mickey Joe, and I am obsessed with all things theatre. This evening I am back in London at the theatre royal hay market to see the West End return of Heathers. Waiting. 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 What a terrible place to have traffic. I'm trying to vlog. I've been invited to come and review the show just after it's press night and I'm so excited to see it for the third time. I'm really excited to see the new cast of Westerberg High. We're going to show you what it's like inside the theatre, maybe a sneak peek of the curtain call, as well as what I thought of the show. So, let's have a look. <laughs> Oh my god, hey! Last night I went to go see Heathers at the Theatre Royal Haymarket and today I am going to tell you all of my thoughts. But before I do and before I forget, when you are invited to go and review shows in the West End, very often there will be a program set aside for you so that when you write the review you have all of the information about the cast and the creative team and the context and the background of the show and any information you might need to write that review. The lovely team at Heathers and Emma Holland PR were lovely enough to put aside an entire souvenir brochure with program insert it's an amazing souvenir brochure. The pictures inside are insane. There are pictures from the 2018 cast with Carrie Hope Fletcher and also with the new cast with Christina Bennington. Look at this! So beautiful! It's really beautiful. And as much as I would love to keep this for my own personal amusement, uh, I have too many programs. So I am going to be doing a giveaway as part of this video. All you have to do to be in with a chance of winning this souvenir brochure is comment down below with hashtag Mickey Joe giveaway. And you're welcome to talk about why you love this show as well. In order to be entered, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and that you have liked this video. And if you would like extra entries and extra chances to win this souvenir brochure, head over to my Twitter and Instagram page, both at Mickey Joe Theatre, where there will be other opportunities to win by commenting and sharing posts. For all the terms and conditions, including information on what I will be announcing the winner, check the description of this video. Now time for the review. 
So this time round, I ended up giving Heathers four stars. If you want to read my full written review of it, you can read that over at mickeyjoetheatre.co.uk, my theatre blog. I've seen Heathers twice before. I saw it at the Other Palace Theatre, where I really loved it. I loved its energy. I loved everyone in the cast. I then saw it at the Theatre Royal Haymarket, where I still loved the show. I didn't have fantastic seats. And by that point in the West End run, I feel like the fan culture had become a little bit clicky. In terms of how this version compares with the previous West End version, almost everyone in the cast is different except for Jodie Steele as Heather Chandler. A lot of people, I really liked their different interpretations. Some people, I wasn't as sure that they connected as well to the characters as the version I'd seen before. And also some of the performances from before were so, so good that they were very difficult to forget. So when someone does something differently, you think, oh, that's still good, but I really can't get this previous version out of my mind. But still, four stars, really enjoyed it. Heathers is always a really fun show. I think until I got there, I forgot how much I enjoyed Heathers and just the moment where they come out and there's the big Heather, Heather and Heather music with the pink lights and the smoke and all of the 80s campness of it. I was just living my best homosexual life. Hands down, the standout performance of this show is Jodie Steele as Heather Chandler. I already loved her in this show the last time. If possible, this year she is even better in this role. She has had the advantage of having already played this character, so she's really just developing it further, where everyone else is sort of finding their characterizations and rehearsing and learning the show for the first time. She is very much a senior, where everyone else is a freshman. Is that what... that's what it's called? Yes? Americans? Correct. Americans? at me in the comments section if I'm talking nonsense about your high school system. It's too confusing, I don't understand it. The British system that starts at seven and ends in 13 makes much more sense, except sometimes it starts at eight and then you don't necessarily call it 13 and yeah. Gosh, why is school confusing? Anyway, Jodie Steele, such a fantastic mean girl character as Heather Chandler, just so, so good. All of her bitchy line readings are just my favorite thing ever. And then, spoiler alert if you haven't seen Heather's, when she becomes a ghost, oh, she's just so funny with all of her sarcasm and all of her just cutting lines and the whole gently with a chainsaw moment. Is this t-shirt too small for me, by the way? This is what happens when you buy smalls in merchandise that is targeted at teenage girls. I'm getting away with it. I really enjoyed the other two Heathers as well, Bobby Little and Francis Maley McCann. They were really great. I loved Lifeboat. Madison Swan gave an incredible performance of Kindergarten Boyfriend, which stopped the show cold. Lauren Ward. We have to talk about Lauren Ward as Miss Fleming, because when she did Shine Light, it was not only just like so committed and so insane, she belted a high note while sliding into a split, which I don't remember either Rebecca Locke or Amy Booth Steele doing. I've seen them both before just insane. And I really enjoyed Christina Bennington's vocals as Veronica. They were out of this world. It's exactly what I was expecting from her after seeing her in Bat Out of Hell. She is an incredible singer with this soaring, crazy belt. If I'm being really nitpicky, some of the vowel shaping started to get a bit samey and some of the songs like I Say No, where it was just all a bit like, oh my God, oh my it was all just a bit like, ah, oh. everything was on an Ah, uh, but it still sounded phenomenal. And for diehard Heathers fans, a lot of the high notes that Barrett Wilbert Weed did, that Carrie Hope Fletcher didn't do necessarily, Christina Bennington has put back in, and they're good. It's really hard to top Candy Store because the whole audience anticipates it in such a way, and just when that music is starting and they're launching into choreography and it's the three of them, it's just so, so good. Dead Girl Walking was also phenomenal. Jordan Luke Gage and Christina Bennington were just aflame with talent. Also, Dead Gay Son was kind of a highlight for me. Stephen Serlin and Simon Bailey were hilarious. The way they played off each other comedically with Simon Bailey's vocals just made this number the best it is ever going to be. It was just like the best version of this number you're ever going to see. In terms of COVID safety, the theatre going experience was fantastic. There were loads of separate entrances at the start. I will say if you want to look at merch, you're gonna to have to go in a different way to where you may need to then go in for your actual seat in the auditorium. We were sat in the stalls, a fantastic view. They haven't moved the stall seats in the Haymarket like they have in some other West End theatres. What they've done is just uh, taken out uh, the capacity from every other row. So every other row is empty, which also means sight lines and view pretty fantastic. There's a one-way system once you get into the auditorium to go to the toilet, which I thought was gonna be really annoying, but it was actually super easy. I was vibing with the whole pre-show because they have this 80s playlist going. It really got me in the zone and I just had a great time. 
Again, for die-hard Corn Nut Heathers fans, they are at the moment discouraging people from stage dooring and from throwing scrunchies onto the stage, just for COVID safety reasons, which I'm sure everyone can understand. This is an interesting question because the one criticism I see about Heathers from like seasoned theatre critics is that it doesn't take itself particularly seriously. Some of the angst and grit from the movie and even from previous incarnations on the West End are less apparent in this version. This version I think is played even more comically than the last time we saw it in London. A lot of the line readings that were previously moments of seriousness amidst the camp and zaniness are now played for laughs and so it feels a lot more sort of teenage I will say the young fans of Heathers who love the show are really gonna love this. If you're a fan of any of these performers, you're gonna love this. It showcases them all brilliantly. Everyone has their moments to shine and sing. I can see a whole new generation of young theatre goers also falling in love with this show this summer as they're introduced to it for the first time. And I think that's what this show is always going to provide. If you like this genre, if you like Mean Girls, if you like Be More Chill, you're gonna love Heathers. <laughs> so much for watching today's video and my review of Heather's the Musical in the West End. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my Stagey YouTube channel for plenty more Stagey content, including more reviews of West End shows coming very soon. Also, if you would like to support me as a content creator, head over to patreon.com forward slash Theatre, where it's as well as... Uh, head over to patreon.com forward slash Theatre, where for a variety of membership prices, you can... Wow. I'm going to do this one more time and then I'm going to kill myself. Head over to patreon.com forward slash Mickey Joe Theatre where as well as a lot of exclusive content you can also do something else and I can't remember where I was going with that sentence. Pain and despair. Ross Harmon just walked past me and laughed. <laughs> ah. Patreon content exclusive. There's pictures, there's videos. Oh! You also get input into the kind of videos I will make on my YouTube channel, standing at the side of the road like a fool. I hope that everyone is staying safe and that you have a stage. Wow. For ten more seconds, I'm Mickey Joe Theatre. Oh my god, hey. Thanks for watching. Have a stagey day. Subscribe! <laughs>